Okay, I have the iPod Classic centered as best I can here. Of course, I'm probably going to end up moving it around, so let's check it out. Okay, this is the new interface that Apple's running with with the iPods. Uh, you have a sort of split screen. You can turn that off in iTunes if you'd like. So next time you sync it off after that, bye bye art. But then you turn it off for everything. So let's check out the options we got on music. We have the new cover flow. Let's check this out. Now, when you buy your iPod at first, <coughs> it's not going to have all the updates so this will lag a little bit it still lags a little bit right now not too badly though um... I'm into a lot of game music but uh, if I want guitar in your music, that music is pretty sweet got the YTMND soundtracks, go to YTMND.com if you don't know what that is so yeah this is this is the cover flow and what you're going to do once you have a song that's selected in one of these albums you're going to click it hit the center button and it's going to flip out and pick any of your pick a song that's down this list now now what's cool is you press the menu button it's going to go back out you're actually looking at the back of that cover art all right so you go through your songs here Tells you the time on each song here. Pick one. Pick a song. And it flips out to that song. Pretty sweet, huh? Now within this, you click the center button. Oh. You can zoom through the song. You can rate it. turn shuffle for on for songs or albums or off and I think that's it let's go through it one more time yeah so it displays the album art off to the side which is pretty sweet nice and big now alright so some of it does lag a little bit so I don't know if you can hear the button pressing but there's about a half a second lag between some of this stuff not moving it through the menus though it's pretty nice Alright, so let's go through playlists. Now playlists, these are just playlists I build of songs I like, obviously. So now everything's spaced apart now. Everything's not jammed together. It tells you how many songs you got in each playlist. We go into a playlist. Just click a song. It goes right to that song menu that we saw before. The art off to the side. Same options and everything. Damn it. Right? Lag. Alright. Go to artist. It's going to be the exact same thing we just saw. Whoop. Sorry. Guess it's not. Um. I guess artist for some reason they smash together anyway. I guess. Assuming you're going to have a lot of artists on there. There you go. Albums like what we had before. Alright, so there's that lag again, but no biggie. So you can click on one of these. Album, and you're going to get the same thing. Same thing we saw before, just the songs aren't spread apart or anything. Right. And you go to songs. Oh, sorry about that. Songs. I have songs are spread out too. So I don't, I don't get why they. Whoop! You're focusing. I don't get why they didn't do that with artists, but they do it with songs. So you got each individual song spread out. Cameras refocusing. Sorry about that. I have no control over that. It's doing it on its own. There we go. So you got each individual song here. Don't yet yeah, ignore those songs. They're from YTMND. Just I plan on taking most of the stuff off. I just loaded it on here. 
Wait. Genres? I haven't actually gone into genres yet. Huh. So yeah. List the amount of artists and albums. You go in and tell you the songs. Let's go back out of this. In the search feature, I, I find pretty useful if you have a lot of songs in here. So let's look up Jordan. There it is. Pretty sweet if you got a lot of songs in there. Don't want to go down through your list. Alright, so let's check out video now. I don't have any photos on here, so can't show you that right now. Alright, so you got movies on here right now. I have a few, quite a few. Alright, so we got Borat, Casino Royale, Turner Man. This is a very sharp screen. Alright. So there's a video on it. You can have a video playlist. I don't know if you could do that in the the previous one, but previous iPad video. They are planning on doing TV out. You do not get a TV out cable with it. You have to, um, they're going to be releasing a $50 cable later. Um, you can't do it through the headphone jack anymore. Sorry about that. Um, let's check out extras. Got clocks. Set a clock. I have a New York set. Calendars. You can have it synced to some calendars, but I uh, gotta use some Microsoft crappy software. Alright. Contacts. Nope, oh, no contacts. Alarms. I haven't tried this feature out either. Games. Alright, you get three games with this. Uh, I'll show you Vortex. Vortex is a mix of the old arcade game Tempest and uh, that uh, break game to break the balls. So. so you move it around with the pad. Oh. This does get faster, I've seen, saw one guy at the Apple Store playing this pretty quickly. Pretty sweet graphics on this thing. You got your settings. Let's go to the About menu, it's pretty sweet now. It shows you how much space you've used in each section. How many songs. So all your settings, features, and shuffle songs. So that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed this review. Hope get some of you guys to uh, buy an iPod Classic. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, thanks for watching. It was a little jerky at times, but you get the picture. <laughs>